Hi, scholars. This is Breeding giving you your second guided reading lesson for this week. Um, today, your lesson is very similar to last week. Remember, now we're co we're going to continue to read stories to practice retelling. Right now, our stories are pretty easy, so we can get the hang of it. But starting next week, our um, passages will get a little bit more difficult for retelling. So then you'll start to see a lot more settings, more characters, more events, um, and more problems. So um, make sure that you're really practicing retelling to make sure that you understand how to identify or how to find the five different things we want to make sure that we include in our retail. So for today, you have two retail sheets. You are going to um, finish our Miguel series. Uh, I really enjoyed this series, and I know you all probably did too. Um, so the first story is The Creature from Copernicus's Crater. So this is one of the longer stories here. Okay, so you're going to complete a retail for that. And then you have Great Grandpa George. This is a very, very short story. Okay, so you have two retail sheets to complete for these two stories, the last two stories of our series. And then you have your glossary. This is where you have a little bit of an opportunity for extra credit. So your glossary is almost like a dictionary, but it only includes words that were in the passages that you read or the stories that you read. So I want you to choose five words from this glossary list, and I want you to write um, a sentence to go along with each word. Make sure you give me a good, strong fourth grade sentence. I want you to include a lot of details. I want to make sure that you um, make sure you use the, the words correctly. Here in parentheses, you can see either N, A, D, J, or V. That means noun, adjective, and, ad, uh, and verb. Noun, adjective, and verb. Noun, person, place, or thing. Adjective de describes a person, place, or thing. And a verb is an action word is what you do. So make sure that you complete your two uh, retail sheets. And you also give me five strong fourth grade sentences using um, five words from the glossary, okay? Um, next week, we will kick it up a notch with our retail. And you, I will assign you books that are a little bit more difficult um, to identify the characters, the setting, the problems, events, and the ending, okay? Remember... And make sure that you are really practicing your five finger retail because that is the main skill that's needed for you to grow in your step levels. Okay, so I will see you all next week and have a great weekend.